What's this? High end fed. Guys, I would love to set this antenna up and go out and play radio because it's brand new and I'm excited about it. But it's so freaking cold that I can't even drain the top of my pool right here. It is also so cold that I can't even raise my antenna mast. All of this is frozen. All of it. Can't raise it. So I am excited to unbox this. Okay, that was just a joke, kids. Don't really open a box like that. So, let's unbox my antenna. I decided not to pay for the fast shipping, so it took about two weeks to get here. All right, here's what we've got. So it looks like we have the antenna itself, which we'll look at in a second. Zip ties for some kind of permanent type mount. And that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna be mounting it permanently. I'm gonna be using it portably. It may not be designed for that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. These are some big straps, man. This is not light, but it's not heavy either. It certainly feels well built. So I'm thinking about the way I would hang it. If I'm gonna do something like that to a tree or some other device, or more like this maybe, I'm gonna connect it, and then this of course would be my coax going to my radio. And then this, of course, notice it's got a really nice strain relief right here that's really good. This looks really tight, really well, really well insulated right here. Um, I'm gonna have to come up with a way. This is fairly stiff. I'm gonna say this isn't gonna wind up like my pant pack tenna. So this is not a fair comparison, and I know that, and I'm just showing you. This, this is more travel type, and you, it will wind. Notice the difference in thickness here between the pack tenna much thicker my only point is that it's not going to wind up like this it's going to be a little bit harder to travel with so it's going to have to do that's probably the max that you could you would want to wind it right there just something to be aware of size wise it's a little bigger but that's fine with me um, but i do want to take this out on the trail that's why i got it um i could set it up permanently at some point in my backyard but don't feel the need to um, this is very boxy feeling. So taking a quick look at the instructions, it's kind of interesting to read this because it says right off the bat, it's not necessary to pull the antenna really tight. Now that's, it's human nature to want to get that thing tight. For some reason we like straight lines and I do too. But I'm going to do, well, I'm going to take this advice and just let it kind of slope a little bit. It's better for the wire to hang loose. You don't want too much force on the wire. The SWR will be, be unstable. The force is too big. It will stretch and break even. Operation of this antenna is not derated if it hangs loose. It means it works just as good. At 40 kilograms, it will break. Hmm. My problem I have with that is a couple times I've got this stuck in a tree and I've had to pull it. I've never broken this, but I've had to pull it quite hard at some points to get it out. Classic 100 watt. 40, 20, and 10 meters. Looks like we should be less than 2.0 on all three bands, hopefully. Of course, that has lots of variability. And regular boilerplate language. 